Um, you can see it from outer space, and I think it brings in something like a billion dollars of tourism every year. It's just this massive thing. Which, by the way, the whole fact that the Australian dollar laps the U.S. dollar, every Aussie that I've met since that happened has made sure to rub that in my face. So we get it. Our economy is in trouble. Thank you. Um, but anyway, uh, Great Barrier Reef. Christine, you got to dive there. Um, maybe you can talk about that up. Talk about that a little bit. <clears throat> okay, well, uh, you know, like I just said, so much life. Um, and we did, we did a couple dives at this reef that was actually outside the Great Barrier Reef itself. And it was, you know, basically where all the sharks go. So we got to see some of these massive three, four meter sharks. And then, um, you know, spend a couple days, or a day or two out there, and then went back in and there's just it's there's so much going on and so much different life that's there it's it's really hard to describe you know any in a broad sort of sense and i wanted to talk a little bit about animals in australia since i feel like that's a lot where a lot of the images of australia come from are like of course koalas kangaroos and you can tell us about the drop bear there's one okay uh ryan sent in this uh, another statement for us. I think your Australian friends love the statements, not the questions. Thanks, Ryan. Don't for your mix up Tanzania with Tasmania. <laughs> statement. Uh, that's fair. I feel like most people confused where Christine was staying. Um, they're like, oh, and that's in Africa, right? Um, I had so, so many people that there. did. Yeah. So thanks for that. Um, Maybe, I mean, we know about the kangaroo and the koala. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the drop bear, Christine, since that's just so funny. Um, I want to hear more. Please enlighten us. <sighs> I honestly, I did not know about this animal before I got down there. Thank, I mean, oh. thank God my friends warned me about this. So it's <laughs> a koala hybrid. Like, you know, it's evolutionary related to the koala. But somewhere along the lines, it took a turn for the worse, and it's um, it's a carnivore, and it hides in the trees and attacks its prey by falling on them. Hence the name drop bear. That's just and so it sounds so fake. It's, it's a real. It's one of those things that when you go bushwalking, you actually have to be wary of it because <laughs> I wish it was. I wish it was. It's horrifying. <laughs> um, and there's a couple different ways to, you know, avoid getting attacked by them. Some people say you put Vegemite behind your ears. <laughs> there's a use for people that don't eat Vegemite. Put it behind your ears. There you go. Um, you know, you have to constantly, like, look up and make sure that you don't walk under trees that have drop bears in them. Wow. Um... I'll be sure to keep that in mind when I go to Australia. And there is That's really, really terrifying. <laughs> you can actually on the Australian Muse Museum website, you can actually look up all of this information about the drop bear. Oh. Oh, very, that was. Thank you for informing us about this yeah. terrifying um, bear that falls from the sky, Christine. Um, one other thing I. Uh, we sort of mentioned before, um, maybe you can tell me a little bit about, since he's sort of a uh, creature man, um, how they feel about Crocodile Dundee there and like that whole part of Australian culture, because I, I feel like it's, it's, um, it's the image that a lot of people have of when they think of Australia. Um, and maybe you can comment on how Aussies feel about that whole thing. <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> well, I mean, as far as Crocodile Dundee is, uh, I didn't feel that, I mean, I actually, a bunch of my friends owned the movie and we all got together and watched it, which I thought was rather hilarious. Um, but they don't really hold um, Paul Hogan. Like, he, I mean, he's a celebrity, but, you know, he's kind of like, yeah, he's a celebrity. What I... I had a feeling this was the case. They all hate the crocodile hunter. Oh, um, really? What's his name? Okay. Stingray man. Uh, Steve Irwin. 
um, Steve Irwin. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Steve Irwin. They hate him. I, I love the he is apparently He is apparent or was apparently a massive wanker and crazy. And so most people, or at least the people I came across in Australia, try to distance themselves from being somehow related to, to him. Um, speaking of distance, and apparently himself, I think he got bit a lot. have a pretty good question. Um, do Australians actually drink Fosters? Was it just marketing hype? Because I have heard that they despise it. Maybe you can offer some insight on that, Christine. <laughs> oh, I think the comment said it enough. Um, <laughs> no, I never, I actually never had a Foster's while I was down there. Really? And I think every single pub out of, I actually looked when I went to the pubs just to see if they had it. And I don't think a single pub I had, I went to ever actually had it. I mean, you could get them if you went to the bottle shop or our liquor store or what our version of a liquor store, mm -hmm. they would have them in stocked in shelves, but I never saw them in bars, ever. Yeah, that's funny. Um, huh, apparently you can't even buy it in a, in a bottle shop. <laughs> um, we have one other question from a friend of mine. Um, let me see if we can get this up for you, Christine. Most of the Aussies I know have never been more than an hour or so inland. Have you been into the bush? The outback, Christine. Tell us. Um, sadly, I have not been to the Outback. Um, like I said before, most of my time was spent on, on Tasmania. I mean, I went into the bush in Tasmania. I did a whole bunch of hiking and camping and stuff while I was down there, but never to where what we would consider the Outback in the middle of the mainland. Um, I spent a little time in Sydney, a couple days in Melbourne, and then a day or two in Cairns when I went on my Great Barrier Reef trip. Otherwise, I never actually made it out to the Outback. <coughs> and I will at some point. I do plan on going back and going out there, but I didn't make it this time around. Mm. That's okay. Um, it's a big country. There's plenty to see. Um, and you'll be back. Your friends are, they want you, they clearly want you back anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely think the Outback is another part of the, um, the imagery we have of Australia. They featured it a lot in do. that movie, Australia. I don't know what you thought of that film, but 